हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू अवर चैनल टूडे वी आर डाइविंग इन टू द फैसिनेटिंग वर्ल्ड ऑफ एक्वेरियम मेंटेनेंस एंड डिस्कसिंग ए क्रूशियल टॉपिक वाई बेनिफिशियल बैक्टीरिया लिव ऑन सिरेमिक रिंग्स एंड नॉट ऑन स्टोन अवेलेबल इन द टैंक सो बाय द एंड ऑफ दिस वीडियो यू विल अंडरस्टैंड द साइंस बिहाइंड बेनिफिशियल बैक्टीरिया कॉलोनाइजेशन and why ceramic rings are the preferred choice for your aquarium's biological filtration so let's get started understanding beneficial bacteria first let's talk about beneficial bacteria and their role in your aquarium these beneficial bacteria are essential for maintaining a healthy environment for your fish they help break down harmful substances like ammonia and nitrite converting them into less harmful nitrate this process is known as nitrogen cycle the nitrogen cycle begins with ammonia which is produced by fish waste and uneaten food Nitrifying bacteria convert ammonia into nitrite which is still toxic to fish. Another group of nitrifying bacteria then converts nitrite into nitrate which is much less harmful and can be removed through regular water changes. Having a thriving colony of these bacteria is crucial to avoid toxic build up and keep your fish healthy. So ceramic rings versus tank stones Now let's compare ceramic rings and tank stones as media for bacterial colonization. Friends, ceramic rings and tank stones are both popular choices, but they serve very different purposes in your aquarium. Ceramic rings are specifically designed for biological filtration. They are porous and have a high surface area, making them ideal for housing beneficial bacteria. On the other hand, tank stones are primarily used for aesthetics. They are solid and have significantly less surface area, which limits their effectiveness for bacterial colonization. Porosity and surface area. So let's delve deeper into the concept of porosity and surface area. Porosity refers to the presence of tiny holes and spaces within a material. These pores provide a large surface area for bacteria to attach and grow. Ceramic rings are highly porous which means they offer ample surface area for beneficial bacteria to thrive. This high surface area is crucial for the efficiency of biological filtration as more bacteria can colonize the media and process waste products more effectively. In contrast tank stones are solid with little to no porosity they provide very limited surface area for bacteria to colonize making them less effective for biological filtration while they can still support some bacterial growth they are not optimized for this purpose now material composition Another important factor is the material composition of ceramic rings and the tank stones. Ceramic rings are typically made from sintered glass or ceramic materials that are highly porous and chemically inert. This means they are safe for use in your aquarium and do not alter the water chemistry. Tank stones on the other hand are often made from various types of rocks or artificial materials. These materials are not specifically designed for bacterial colonization and might leach unwanted substances into the water if they are not aquarium safe. So efficiency in filtration. The efficiency of biological filtration depends on the ability of the media to support a large colony of beneficial bacteria. Ceramic rings excel in this aspect. due to their high surface area and porosity they provide a stable environment for bacteria to colonize enhancing the efficiency of biological filtration tank stones 
while visually appealing do not offer the same level of efficiency their limited surface area restricts the number of bacteria that can colonize them making them less effective for biological filtration therefore relying solely on tank stones for biological filtration is not recommended practical considerations for aquarium owners now let's talk about some practical considerations for aquarium owners when choosing biological media for your filter it's important to select materials that maximize the surface area for beneficial bacteria ceramic rings are an excellent choice for this purpose to ensure optimal performance it's also important to maintain and clean your ceramic rings reg- regularly over time debris and organic matter can clog the pores reducing their effectiveness rinse them gently in tank water during regular maintenance to keep them in good condition when placing ceramic rings in your filter ensure they are positioned in a way that allows water to flow through them effectively this maximizes the contact time between the water and the bacteria enhancing the efficiency of biological filtration so faqs and common misconceptions let's address some common questions and misconceptions about ceramic rings and tank stones first is can tank stones be used for biological filtration its answer yes but they are not as effective as ceramic rings due to their limited surface area while they can support some bacterial growth they are better suited for aesthetic purposes second question do ceramic ring need to be replaced answer rarely ceramic rings are durable and can last for years with proper maintenance occasionally rinsing them in water tank water to remove debris is sufficient to keep them effective third question are there alternative to ceramic rings its answer yes there are other biological media like bio balls sponge filters and lava rocks each has its pros and cons but ceramic rings are widely regarded for their efficiency and ease of use so conclusion to summarize beneficial bacteria are essential for maintaining a healthy aquarium environment ceramic rings are superior for bacterial colonization due to their high surface area and porosity making them an excellent choice for biological filtration tank stones while aesthetically pleasing do not offer the same level of efficiency for bacterial growth investing in proper biological media like ceramic rings will ensure the health and well-being of your fish So friends thank you for watching if you have any question or experiences to share please leave a comment below also don't forget to like subscribe and hit the notification bell for more informative content on aquarium maintenance and care stay tuned for our upcoming videos and happy fish keeping